I guess everybody wanted their piece of the devil's pie. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about more than a dozen Broward County, Florida deputies being charged in a PPP loan fraud case. Now, I am not surprised at all because I've heard so many stories about this. I'm talking about regular normies, everyday people going to work, going to school, just getting all kind of money, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 100,000. And of course, what they spend the money on, nonsense, Teslas, Ferraris, watches, jewelry, gold teeth, uh, exotic pets, ridiculous nonsense that would have them broke right afterward. This is why just giving out money to people who have never had it before, who have not worked for it, who don't understand what to do with it is useless because it'll go right back to those who gave it to them to begin with. So it's like, what are we even doing? Now, before I go any further into that, let's go ahead and watch this clip. If you want to see it in full without my commentary, link as always will be in the description. If you're on IG, visit the link in the bio, go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. We are now hearing from Broward Sheriff Gregory Tony after 17 deputies have been arrested and charged with fraud. Local 10's Roy Ramos is live with this developing story. Roy. Nicole, and we have learned that nearly 100 BSO employees did apply for the PPP loans. And Now, let's, let's pause. Okay, we got some numbers we're dealing with. So 17 deputies have been charged in this case, but over 100 employees apply. Now, for a PPP loan, what do you have going on that requires that? Now, as far as I know, the reason you would apply for this is if you had a business that was shut down and you needed money to keep it going. And if you met certain requirements, there was no obligation to pay it back. That's what I heard. And if I'm wrong, y'all please correct me in the box. But if you're a regular normie W2 employee, why would you file for a PPP loan? Unemployment insurance, if you have no job or something like that is different, but regular normie working at the the, the, the sheriff's office, what are you trying to get a loan for? But let's keep on going. Of the 100, 17 of them are now facing federal charges. Well, as you mentioned today, we did get a chance to speak with Broward Sheriff Gregory Tony about these allegations. And he says if his employees were involved in this type of criminal activity, they do not deserve to be working in the law enforcement profession. Did you believe you were receiving these loans legitimately? 17 members of the Broward Sheriff's Office, which include both BSO deputies and detention deputies, released from the federal courthouse in Fort Lauderdale after being indicted on charges that include wire fraud after federal investigators said they fraudulently applied for and received funds from the Paycheck Protection Program. Or Now, I'm going to tell you what's going on here. Obviously, everybody's black. What, what happens a lot in the community, in the community, as many of us say, is that it'll be some guy going around that people trust that they may know, maybe even a popular podcast person or something like that. I'm not going to name names, but they'll come through and say, hey, you know what? This is what's going on. Here's a play. Here's a move. All you got to do is X, Y, Z, this, that, and the third. And then they get people to believe in it. They buy into it and they get them to sign documents, send off stuff to try and get PPP loans. Now, this actually worked for a lot of people. Now, some may go to jail over it. Some may not. Because out of that 100, did they, the only the 17 actually get any money? What happened? What was the reason why 17 out of 100 got charged? 100 applied. Did they get anything? Who got anything? Those are the questions. But I digress. My point is that I saw quite a bit of this during the scamdemic. I mean, pan pandemic. I saw quite a bit of this. People going around talking about I can get you money, all this and that. And a lot of normies in the community don't even really understand. Like, I was hearing people that I know talk about doing stuff like this. And I'm like, I, I had to kind of step in and say, you can't do that because they just didn't know any better. But I'm not necessarily trying to give you excuses. I'm just trying to give you a reason why these kind of things take place. PPP loans. Bonds were set. They're being released. Uh, nobody, as far as I know, is being detained. 
and uh, we'll take it from there. We'll be back in court. Attorney Brian Silber represents three of the defendants, some of whom have either been suspended or placed on leave pending the outcome of the investigation. I can't comment on the nature of the case. While the charging documents do not allege that any of the defendants committed to charge offenses in the course of their official duties, this does not in any way diminish the seriousness of what the defendants are alleged to have done here. Sheriff Gregory Tony said he first learned of the crimes in November of 2021, prompting him to investigate all 5,500 of his employees, including himself and other top brass. Of the 17 indicted, seven BSO deputies and one sergeant in law enforcement, and eight detention deputies and one sergeant in corrections. I hate to see that knowing some of the individuals and seeing the names on that list that's being indicted, indicted some of them were good officers. But you're only as good as the last act and conduct that you execute. We learned the defendants involved received tens of thousands of dollars, and while the investigation has proved that some of whom were investigated did have legitimate businesses, at the very least, the 17 now facing federal charges allegedly did not. If you're going to okay, so I was wondering about that because I was saying, okay, if you're an employee, but some of them, you could be an employee, a W-2 employee, and have a little side business, and then you got money for that, and that's legitimate. Um, before I continue with this, the, the, the lockdown and the loans and all that was just a waste. It was it was a big waste. The lockdown should have never, ever happened. All we did was just increase the debt and give a bunch of money to people that probably shouldn't have it. They probably shouldn't have it, even if there was a legitimate purpose for the money. But let's keep on going. Be participating in criminal activities. We don't want you in this profession. And while 17 BSO employees have been indicted, we are told that this investigation does continue and there could be more indictments to come. We'll be sure to stay on top of this. Okay, so that's what's happening right there in Florida. Now I'm going to play one more clip. This is from 2022. This kind of zooms out to look at the, all the fraud that happened throughout the entire country, which was a lot. <laughs> there was a ton of fraud that happened. You see the headline, biggest fraud in the generation the looting of the COVID relief program known as PPP. Let's check it out. Series that you may remember called the Fleecing of America. Over the last two years, the federal government approved a historic $5 trillion in pandemic assistance for struggling Americans. $5 trillion. Now, where did that money come from? Jerome Powell, print and press, print and press go burr. Is that what happened? I think so. Is that where you have so much debt and inflation? I think so small businesses, and health care providers. But now investigators say hundreds of billions have been lost to fraud. This $3.5 million Florida mansion seized by the IRS was bought with taxpayer dollars that were supposed to rescue American jobs and small businesses. Instead, according to law enforcement, it funded a swim-up bar and a horse stable. The buyer got $7 million from the federal government, allegedly claiming he had 400 employees. According to prosecutors, he had none. Have you been surprised by how quickly fraudsters moved in on this money? Unfortunately, not really. Michael Horowitz is the top cop overseeing the effort to... Now, they said, when I say they, I mean the federal government, they said that anyone who engaged in fraud with PPP would get prosecuted and they would go to the penitentiary. But there was so much of it. I'm, I'm serious. There was so much of it. They cannot possibly prosecute everybody. They can't follow. It's, it's just... It's like playing whack-a-mole. You get one, there's 15 more. It's like trying to exterminate roaches in New York City. Make sure the $5 trillion in taxpayer dollars went to the right place. This is his first interview in his role as the head of the Pandemic Response Accountability yeah. Committee. That's kind of a useless bureaucracy, but whatever. When the Small Business Administration, in sending that money out, basically said to people, apply and sign and tell us that you're really entitled to the money. And of course... For fraudsters, that's an invitation. The fraudsters are bold, buying luxury cars, flights on private jets, mansions, like this Los Angeles couple who led a massive $20 million fraud ring using fake IDs to apply for loans for fake businesses. They texted about the cash that was available. You need to apply, 10K guaranteed. They I saw quite a bit of that going on. Yep. I saw a lot of that happening. Don't check for blank. It's all automated. 
Days later, texting, they got the money. I did seven applications last night, and four of them got email that it's funded. I'm telling you to apply to Bluevine, an online loan processor. How much they send you? Like over 500 so far. Raising questions as to how they got the money in the first place, Congress now investigating Bluevine, one of the third-party service providers who processed billions in loans and touted that a business could get loan approval in five minutes. So there's more to that particular video right there, and that was in 2022. But the Florida case just happened a few days ago. I think three days ago that video came out that I showed you guys. So, so that's what's happening with the PPP loans. But we all knew that. We all kind of know what's going on. And this might be a thing that they investigate and look into for years because there was so much fraud, I, it'd make your head spin. And I think the majority of those who committed the fraud are not even going to get caught because some of it was for small amounts. Like, okay, you're talking about an investigation that happened for like within law enforcement. That had to happen to uncover them. What about regular people? Just working a regular job, working the re just being just normies out here in the street that might have got a thousand dollars. Are you really going to be able to find them? I doubt it. But as I close, I want to say this: uh, the the scam demit plan, pandemic, whatever you want to call it, PPP loans, the unemployment assistance that really kind of ruined society. It really did. From the inflation, from people not wanting to work because they were getting paid more to stay at home, from all the the fraud that happened, people getting locked up. There, there was so much that happened as a result of this bad policy of the lockdowns. And uh, let's look at this and promise to never, ever, ever do it again. And I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your take on what happened here with the PPP loans being just nothing but fraud within a law enforcement organization, and then abroad throughout the entire U.S. Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. I'm not surprised. When it comes to that money, people that might be good people, like you heard my man say, some of the officers were good officers. Doesn't really matter because when that money gets into the picture, things get kind of murky, things get kind of cloudy, and it gets pretty confusing. Uh, again, this was just really bad policy that should have never ever ever taken place but whatever your thoughts are please let me know in the comments below and that's all i gotta say for this video if you like what you heard please comment rate share hand subscribe peace